Hi everyone, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled, The Dimensions of Love. And the verse for today is Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Lakes can be massive. You can stand at the edge and look out to the right and left, straining your eyes and not see either end. Out in the center, their depths can be unreachable by the deepest dive from the highest point on a boat. Even riding on a boat, you can feel as if the turns and coves are unending. Lakes do, however, have an end and a beginning. They provide spacious water worlds where you can spend days adventuring and exploring and never get bored. Eventually, you can map out each cove and corner and learn all the turns and hidden places. Similarly, the love of God is deeper than the deepest lake and far more reaching than the longest waterways. Our relationship with God is an adventure that never runs out of new coves and turns that teach us new lessons and show us layers of who he is. The more we know and grasp, the more we realize there is more to explore. The lake has boundaries at the sky and corners of land, but the dimensions of God's love go on every direction and never cease. You can strain your heart and mind to try to grasp it, but until you jump in and explore, you won't fathom just how deep, wide, high, and long the love of God is in Christ. God, I want to jump in and explore for myself the far reaches of the love you have for me. Amen. Well, that is like God is love, the word says. He is the definition. He is all-encompassing of love. He is also just, and therefore there comes the justice of our actions. And that is why we need a Savior, Christ, who can set us in right standings with the Father. That's what he came for, to restore our relationship and ability to see our Father in heaven again, God, Yahweh, Jehovah. So, his love to send his only son to die for us, and that's why we celebrate Christmas, is to remember the day Christ was born, a baby. He came as humbly as anyone could come and as at risk and indefensible. Yet God protected him through all the attempts on his life until that last day when he gave his life for ours to be eternally with our God. So I hope that you guys have a blessed week. This is Christmas week. And today is my son and my mother's birthday. Just shout out to them. Happy birthday. I love you so much. And I pray God keeps you every day of your life. And Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope that you have the most wonderful day and that you can reflect that we celebrate our Savior. So love y'all. God bless. Merry Christmas. Bye. Oh, yeah. It's like zero degrees right now. <laughs> and I'm loving it snow. Love you. Bye. <laughs>